Hi, and welcome to The Music Makers on Antietam Cable TV. We're going to be bringing you music from the tri-state and surrounding areas. These are musicians that are out creating, producing, and writing their own original music, playing it out in the clubs, really doing the sweat, putting in the work. We're going to be bringing onto this stage, doing acoustic versions of their music. No genre goes untapped. Don't go away. We'll be right back with The Music Makers. Summer heats up July 1st through the 3rd during Thunder Road Bar and Grills Bike Fest 2016. Three days, 23 bands, unlimited fun with stunt shows, tons of vendors, go-kart and lawnmower races, and much more. Live music all three days with Bad Magic headlining Friday night. Saturday features Dean Kramer's So Low, Dirty Deal, and closing out the night, Great White. Sunday, enjoy eight more bands including Grammy Award winning The Kentucky Headhunters. Advanced tickets start at 7 bucks, so bring the family to Thunder Road Bar and Grills Bike Fest 2016 July 1st through the 3rd. The great times and good fun have now gotten even better at Malou's Grill and Pub at Park Circle. Their friendly, casual dining experience brings a little taste of everything to everyone. From their famous burgers and sandwiches, to mouth-watering appetizers, to their specialty items and daily specials like their bangers and mash, there's no better place to pull up a chair, get comfortable, and enjoy great food and company. Malou's at Park Circle. Discover what makes them a hidden treasure in Hagerstown, Virginia Avenue at Park Circle. Welcome back to The Music Makers. I want to welcome our first guest, Bleeding Black. Hey guys, how's it going? Hey, thanks, thanks, man. Jay, I know you're the lead vocalist. Tell us who's in the band. Okay, well to my left I have on guitar Mr. Tim Arts. Uh, to my right I have Kyle Luttrell on guitar as well. To my far right, the ever popular Mr. Rick Alger on bass. And behind me, the ever famous Alan Lind on Cajon. <laughs> Great. Now you guys, the name Bleeding Black, I just, I'm enamored with that name. Who came up with the name? It was uh, kind of a, a bounce around thing. We, we were just kind of looking for something appropriate for the project and uh, we kept bouncing until we got down to this. Um, speaking of the project, I know you guys had played in other bands and you guys are kind of like the all-stars of that Winchester, Virginia area. How did you come together to become Bleeding Black? How did that come together? Well, um, Tim and I were playing together in another band, and um, it kind of started to fizzle out. So uh, we wanted to go for something that was, you know, reaching a little higher for, yeah, to, you know, for our goals. And uh, well, first, actually, we uh, started talking to Alan here and brought Rick in. And we f played as a four-piece our very first show. Well, Kyle it came to the show, and uh, he wanted he wanted in on it and I, we kind of wanted another guitar player so lo and behold the last piece was in place and I tell you what it's been a great experience so far this is the band I've kind of always wanted to be in well what I appreciate about what you guys are doing you got that hard rock heavy metal thing going on but you still got a lot of melody in your music and I mean what what really inspires you to come up with those those melodies or to write those kind of songs I mean, how do you, what's that process like well, when it uh, comes to the guitar melodies, really, you can sort of blame either one of these guys okay. in, the, in the first place. Um, but we're, we're, we're kind of influenced by uh, bands like Thin Lizzy and Deep Purple, you know, the classic bands, Kiss. Uh, the stuff that, you know, we really grew up on, man. And this is what is coming of it. It's great, great, great. Um, one of the things I like that you do, I know I've seen you live a couple of times. I've actually got to share the stage with you before, and it's such a great thing. You guys do some really neat covers that probably people wouldn't touch on, and given your own spin, uh, uh, the Rush tune that you guys just nail every time you do it Overture. out there. Yeah, Overture, and then uh, on the uh, Eleanor Rigby, which is on the, the new CD. We'll talk about the new CD in a little bit, but I just love that stuff. But you guys dig so much deeper when you get into your own music. So what are you going to play for us next? Well, uh, the first one we're going to play here is a song that's for everybody. It's for people that don't put their head in the sand. This one's called Stare at the Devil. Stare at the Devil. Bleeding Black with Stare at the Devil. One, two, three, four.
Hey, every day when my feet hit the floor, I'm running my race with the rest of the hoes. Under the moment that I can't get back, I know the foundation has started to crack. Screaming and dialing to God, be no good. Begin to do question my every move. I start shaking and feeling intense. Time for life to make some sense. Ah, don't need another from you. Another from me, no. We don't need to talk about it. Stare at the devil and tell him what's in your head. I don't need another from you. You don't need another from me, no. We don't need to talk about it. Stare at the devil until that bitch is dead. When the lights go down and I hit the mark, always aware that I'm a dancing with sharks. Who's when the watchers looking for me? It's way past time for us to be the scream. The band explodes with a sonic blast, wiping your face and whipping that ass, boy. When you get done, there ain't much to say. You see the mic drop and we walk away. I don't need another from you. You. Don't need another from me, no. We don't need to talk about it. Stare at the devil and tell him what's in your head. I don't need another from you. You don't need another from me, no. We don't need to talk about it. Stare at the devil until that bitch is dead. Until he's dead. And I'll break the horn right his head. Yeah, yeah. Cause I'm living, breathing. It's mighty exciting when the lights go in down. I'm bleeding, bleeding. It's still your delighting, but then someone frightening. You're turning, turning. Giving yourself to the moment you got to deliver. Give up. Praying upon your emotions. for a long time together in the corporate restaurant world and we decided that we wanted to put the fun back in the food. We do our food our way. You know, we take the traditional and spin it. We change our menu regularly. We have specials that are creative. Great food, great service in a warm and friendly environment where you can be in jeans and a t-shirt next to someone in a business suit and everyone feels comfortable.
Are you in the market for a used car but can't find that perfect mix of dependability, likability, and affordability? Well, Fastlane Car Sales has the ability to make your purchase a little bit easier. Our vehicles go through a thorough inspection, plus our financing makes it convenient for you. With rates as low as 2.9% and the ability to help anyone with bankruptcy, repossession, limited, or bad credit, we are determined to make you happy. See for yourself. Go now to FastlaneCarsales.com. Summer heats up July 1st through the 3rd during Thunder Road Bar and Grills Bike Fest 2016. Three days, 23 bands, unlimited fun with stunt shows, tons of vendors, go-kart and lawnmower races, and much more. Live music all three days with Bad Magic headlining Friday night. Saturday features Dean Kramer's So Low, Dirty Deal, and closing out the night, Great White. Sunday, enjoy eight more bands including Grammy Award winning The Kentucky Headhunters. Advanced tickets start at 7 bucks, so bring the family to Thunder Road Bar and Grills Bike Fest 2016 July 1st through the 3rd. This is our home. It's where we've all decided to put down roots and raise families. Not because we had to, because we wanted to. And as a business owner, you pour every ounce of energy into doing what's right for you in this community, and you won't and you don't stop until you get what you want. And neither do we. We're Antietam Cable Productions, and it's time to stand up and be seen and heard. You have a voice, and we'll help you tell your story. Antietam Cable Productions, putting the beat into the heart of your business. Welcome back to the Music Makers with our guest, Bleeding Black. Guys, you just did a tour up this number, Stare at the Devil. And when we were off camera, you were telling me how that song came about. Tell our audience. Well, Tim, go ahead, man. I was just saying this, the main riff was a, uh, a leftover from Jay and I's previous band, maybe just an idea that never got used. And we were putting songs together. I don't know, it just, it, it was an idea that didn't really go anywhere back then, but then we were, this band, I guess it was, the direction was right. It just kind of wrote itself. I mean, a few ideas and then brought, brought into the band, and by the time everybody was done with it, that's what you hear. It just, for some reason, this we kind of seemed to gel really well when it comes to writing songs, and you know, it just, it, like I said, it just kind of wrote itself. We had it done probably in a practice, and. Great, it, great you know. tune, great number. I really enjoyed it. I was back there stomping, man. I was like head banging. I was going to let my hair down. Fantastic. Um, talk about your new CD, Bleeding Black. Okay, this is great. This is out, okay, folks? Got to go check this out. We'll tell you where you can get it later on. Um, going back to songwriting, we, we know how you wrote that song. Who writes the songs? How do they come about? How do you guys do that? Well, generally, uh, it's either Kyle or Tim uh, bring, bringing a riff in, and uh, we, we work it in the band room, and I sit there writing words. Um, and it, it pretty simply comes together like that. So it's just a group collaboration? Very much a, a group effort. And Ricky but, doesn't do anything, right? No, we, 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 we love Rick. We, we, uh, I'm, we picking on, to do I'm, I'm picking on Rick down there. <laughs> <laughs> no, I know. No, that's great. I, I, you know, I, everybody has their own writing process, and I know we're talking about original music here, and, I, you know, you guys, that, that song was killer. You know, you did a killer CD, and I know that you've got that as an electric version on the CD, but it's also that version there is on the CD, too. Yeah, if you buy the CD. Right. Where can we get the CD? You can go to bleedingblack.com, and it'll tell you exactly where to get it. You can find us on iTunes and CD Baby. Spotify. Yeah, Spotify. We're on Spotify as well. Well, let me ask you this. I've heard the CD, and it, it's, it kicks major booty, okay? I'm, nice, I'm, I've enjoyed it. I've, I play it loud in the car. That's what you got to do. Going down the road, crank it, okay? Um, the recording process, I mean, how did that go? How do you guys do that? I'm going to turn that over to Alan because he was actually the engineer on the album. Okay. Well, you know, I have a, a nice studio set up at home, and... When we started to get together, like Tim and Jay said, you know, the songs just really come together. The band's got great chemistry. And, um, you know, I, uh, it didn't take long for us to get the material together for the CD. So, you know, we basically set up in my house, came down, did, did the you know, usual studio, you know, style, set up the basic tracks. Uh, everybody came and did their parts, and I spent countless hours mixing it and getting it right. I must have given these guys hundreds of versions of these songs to listen to, you know, probably I couldn't tell the difference of what I did from one to the next, but I knew, and you know, once once I can listen to a CD straight through without getting any anxiety, I kind of know it's done. Yeah. Something's not leaning me to the left or to the right, or something not bugging me, 
And so that took, I guess, you know, almost a better part of a year to actually finish this thing. Yeah, so. I'm, I'm impressed with what you did. I, and I know there's always a point where you've got to cut it off and you've got to say, okay, we've got our final mix, let's go. And you still want to say, oh, but, but I know, because I've just been through the process myself. But you guys did an excellent job. Um, what song are you going to play for us next? Tell us about it. Well, the next, uh, next one we're going to do is called The Right Mood. It's just a song about lost love. Lost love. Okay, mm -hmm. good, good. And it's actually an acoustic track on the album. Okay, In The Right Mood. All right, uh, this is one of my favorite songs on the album. Great. Oh, yeah. Nice. All right, Bleeding Black with In The Right Mood. It must have been in my head from the count of three That you were way too busy to ever look at me Retreating to a world that doesn't really exist When you thought of a once important did I ever make the list You saw me your way and I Time put away distraction and do what we should not just wait until we find the right mode. Waking up in a strange place feels so wrong. But if this makes you happy, I'll just stay gone. I can't turn and make this all about me. What I find most important is what sets you free. You saw it in your way. And do what we should Not just wait until we find the right mode Here come the night sweat They won't let
The great times and good fun have now gotten even better at Malou's Grill and Pub at Park Circle. Their friendly casual dining experience brings a little taste of everything to everyone. From their famous burgers and sandwiches, to mouth-watering appetizers, to their specialty items and daily specials like their bangers and mash, there's no better place to pull up a chair, get comfortable, and enjoy great food and company. Malou's at Park Circle. Discover what makes them a hidden treasure in Hagerstown, Virginia Avenue at Park Circle. Nobody ever said being a mom was going to be easy. Luckily, I've been blessed with family and friends who've given me a helping hand when I needed it. Like Will at Hamilton Nissan. He completely understood my situation and put me in a car I could afford. Backed by Hamilton's dealership for life, that gives me free oil changes and car washes, engine guarantee for life, all at no extra charge. Worrying about having a dependable car is a thing of the past for this mom. Thanks to Hamilton Nissan, now I can concentrate more on my little guy. Summer heats up July 1st through the 3rd during Thunder Road Bar and Grill's Bike Fest 2016. Three days, 23 bands, unlimited fun with stunt shows, tons of vendors, go-kart and lawnmower races, and much more. Live music all three days with Bad Magic headlining Friday night. Saturday features Dean Kramer's So Low, Dirty Deal, and closing out the night, Great White. Sunday, enjoy eight more bands including Grammy Award winning The Kentucky Headhunters. Advanced tickets start at 7 bucks, so bring the family to Thunder Road Bar and Grill's Bike Fest 2016 July 1st through the 3rd. Well, Eric and I worked for a long time together in the corporate restaurant world, and we decided that we wanted to put the fun back in the food. We do our food our way. You know, we take the traditional and spin it. We change our menu regularly. We have specials that are creative. Great food, great service in a warm and friendly environment where you can be in jeans and a t-shirt next to someone in a business suit and everyone feels comfortable. Welcome back to the Music Makers with our guest, Bleeding Black. The right mood, great tune, guys, Thanks, fantastic. Man. What was the, the inspiration behind writing that tune? Uh, well, one of us uh, is kind of going through a divorce, so. Oh, <laughs> I don't want to get too, too personal. <laughs> don't want to get dirty or anything. Okay, I understand, because it's really tight, really good lyrics, it's great. Thank you. you guys did a great job on that. I want to push this CD more than ever. Um, we talked about your websites, uh, bleedingblack.com, you're on Facebook. You're on CD Baby. Where else? I know there's like 20-some 20, 20 different places. Pretty much every digital outlet. Did, iTunes, you know, is, is always a good place to go. iTunes, I yes. I believe we're on Spotify. And, Spotify. Uh, wherever else you can get digital music. So, uh, yeah, I mean, on, the, on, the, uh, on those sites, it's a digital download, but, you know, we are, you have the physical CDs if you come to one of our shows or see one of the band members. Or faces, you know, uh, message us on Facebook and we'll ship one out to you. Speaking of shows, let's talk about that. You guys gig a lot. You know, I, I see, I, I follow your website on Facebook and, and see where you're playing a lot. I know that you guys, and, and I really applaud this, musicians that go out and do things for charities. And I know you've got a big thing coming up June 11th. Uh, tell uh, us yeah, about actually, that. Um, on June 11th, this isn't really a bleeding black show, but uh, it's a thing I put together over in Front Royal, Virginia, Warren County, needing a women's shelter. So i uh, got a lineup of bands together, and if you uh, look up Concert for Women on Facebook, uh, you, you'll find uh, what's happening there. It's going to be happening over in Front Royal on that day. There's going to be a lot of good bands. Uh, many different genres so but it's uh, kind of meant for everybody and we're hoping to raise a lot of money and get that shelter open and is it going to be like an annual thing you're going to do uh it's going to be even more than annual uh later on this year there's going to be the women of rock show great that and it's going to totally benefit this cause and there's going to be more uh we're going to keep doing this until the money that we need to get together is raised good so good we're just going to be relentless well count me in if i can help you out oh brother okay I missed the first I love one. His band. By the way. <laughs> um, you got a big show coming up in July. You guys going to share oh, yeah. the stage with some major July acts? 9th. Tell me yeah, about yeah, that. Yeah, we're doing Charlie Acres uh, with uh, In This Moment, and Hell Yeah, which we love those guys. We've played with them before, and and uh, Shaman's Harvest is actually going to be there. We we did our CDs release show with those guys. Right, I remember that. That's great. And that was a great night, and a bunch of other good bands that uh, you're going to find on the bill. And I recommend you go to this show. It's going to be the best one of the year. You know, I'm going to be there. I'm definitely going to be there. My daughter's begging me to take her, so I'll see you guys God backstage at the show. <laughs> <laughs> what are you going to play for us next? Well, uh, we're going to do kind of a fun one. This one's called The Freight Train of Pain. Oh, I love this tune. All right, <laughs> Bleeding Black with The Freight Train of Pain.
doesn't make you smile when you wreck your life. Every conversation ends with a fight, man or boy. What does your Achilles heal? Yeah, I'm a bitch, but you're a dude with a little bitch's attitude. Who's lucky to walk away with his teeth? Listen up, boy. Great train of pain, rock and roll, you guys right killed on, it again. <laughs> I really want to thank you for coming out and being our guest on the show. I hope it wasn't too painful. Oh, not at all, and thank you for having us, Terry. Great, great. Uh, they got some big shows coming up this summer, new CD out. It's all over social media. You can find it. That's it for the Music Makers on Antietam Cable. <laughs>